Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading and it's for all signs. So remember, it may or may not resonate with you. These readings won't resonate with everybody and will be for Friday or around Friday the 23rd of April 2021. Um, remember my readings can last a few days after as well, generally. Okay, what do we have for all signs? What is the message people need to hear the most? Angels, spirits, guides, card is there. Oh, <laughs> someone's jumping for joy. We have success. Very nice energy, or soon will be. So I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux here. Let's see what we have. What is the message, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for all signs. And it will be for Friday the 23rd of April 2021. Okay. So what do we have, please, for all signs? First card is out. Knight of Wands. Justice. Queen of Swords, card of Libra. Two cards of Libra there. Uh, the Knight of Wands is Sagittarian energy for me as a reader. The Devil. Queen of Cups. Uh, and we have, it's interesting, we have the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. There's a lot of energies here to do with the law. Um, and it, it definitely feels like this is to do with a relationship. What is this devil? I've got the Four of Cups and one more. Temperance. Somebody's breaking free of a devil energy. The devil energy can be to do with, um, it can be about codependent relationships or unhealthy relationships in whatever context that resonates for you. It feels in this situation, it, it feels a little bit more like love, romance, relationships. But you know, it, it can be in whatever context, you know, there's, let's clarify this Knight of Wands. Hermit, yeah. Um, temperance is about getting balance back. It's, uh, it's moderation in all things, including patience. And I'm definitely feeling in, some, in, in this energy, you know, there's the Four of Cups. It can be a card of it can be a card of giving some deep thought to a situation in how to get balance back in your life. It feels like somebody has been thinking for a while on how to deal with this devil energy. Now what this devil energy is, you know, it's what's relevant for you. Interesting, yeah, I mean, the King of Wands um, is somebody who takes the lead, takes action. So it feels like there's a divine nudge here. You were being guided in a specific direction in dealing with this devil energy. Uh, the devil can be, like I said, it's, it's generally about instability. Um, can be addiction can be in terms of unhealthy boundaries, unhealthy attachments. However, somebody is certainly getting illumination from within on how they need to take action, deal with the situation and put it behind them. Because, you know, the Knight of Wands is somebody who takes inspired action to bring change. And it feels in this situation, you know, it's like I'm out of here. You know, it's it's an energy of, you know, we have somebody who is 
stepping into their power with the Knight of Wands, somebody who is acting on their passion, their desire, um, getting clarity in terms of how they need to take action now from within and where, what they need to do is finding answers from within on how you need to take action. So somebody, it feels in this situation, somebody is taking action, they've given some deep thought to a situation and it's to do with the devil energy. Now it can be, it feels like it's either within a relationship or it's something that's affected your relationship. What is this justice? So we have the five of wands, which can be about struggle, tensions, conflict, and, and something that has been going round and round and round for a period of time. I'm feeling this is legal situations or legal action. Someone's taken legal action here. Um, and it's to do with an area that has made you struggle, um, caused a lot of tension, conflict. Now that could be like I said, it could be something external affecting your relationship or it can be within the relationship itself. But it definitely feels in this energy there is going to be some justice is restoring balance because we have the Queen of Cups. You know, she can be to do with matters of the heart, but she's also a card of finding emotional stability again. And it feels in this situation it's what this justice is giving you, emotional stability, happiness, um, it definitely feels in this energy it's allowing you to find your flow again especially with this temperance energy in the Queen of Cups uh, so some kind of maybe legal decision government institution call it what you will it feels to do with the law there has been an ongoing struggle an ongoing battle but it feels in this situation that there is some happy decision that's making you happy, that's bringing emotional stability back into your life. Yeah. Now we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. This can be like a couple, like I said, you know, um, and it's whatever this decision is with regard to this couple. Uh, you know, the, the King of Swords is you know, these energies can be tied in with the law as well, you know. It can be a couple that's had dealings with the law. They hold the sword of truth. Truth is on their side. There's definitely an energy of everything will be revealed. The truth will out, you know. These two people stand for truth and fairness and justice and honour and respect. So there's definitely this energy of there's some news that is restoring that. It feels to do with a relationship. Now, like I said, this could either be some decision to do with your relationship itself, something that has become unhealthy or unstable, or it can well be in this situation something that has affected you from the outside that has caused struggle and tension. But the Knight of Swords is a card of news, receiving happy news, and it feels in this situation... And I'm saying happy news because it's just kind of like, oh, thank goodness, the relief is big here. There's relief, you know? Um, and it's, it's a relief of your mind, your internal energy, uh, the feeling of finally I can just move forward, you know, emotional stability as well. But this is also about healing, thinking, oh, thank goodness, I can finally put that behind me. So it, it feels in this situation there's some decision coming that brings you a huge relief here. Because we have success and someone is really, and I'm getting this energy, jumping for joy. Someone is jumping for joy. We have the cup of joy held by the Queen of Cups here. So this has been a struggle. It's been going round and round. It feels like for a period of time here. But somebody has taken the lead to see something through and I don't feel you're going to be disappointed because somebody will be jumping for joy. A legal decision in your favour. Very nice energy indeed. So I'm going to pull a final message. Final message for the day please. Thank you. 
Yeah, you see, we have Flamingo Unity Heart. You are being called on to work on collective healing. And it is an energy of let the healing begin. You know, how do I move forward and deal with this situation? What judgment call do I need to make, you know? And it feels like something has been going round and round and round in circles. And a third party, and it feels like the law needs to be involved to sort it out. Um, because generally the law comes in when we can't sort things out ourselves. And it's either to do with something that's affected you as a couple, or it can be in the relationship itself. I'm going to pull one more. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we've got butterfly emerging. This is it. You're emerging. It's like the relief is huge. Take the leap of faith. Isn't that lovely? So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.